today we are going to be making a recipe I found online and I'm going to make it to share with you and that is the most perfect oatmeal raisin cookies. So let's go ahead and get making them. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to start with one bowl and in that bowl we're going to put in one cup of flour spooned and leveled. Lauren, get off the counter, honey. Sit on your bum. Um, half a teaspoon of baking soda, half a teaspoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of sea salt, half a teaspoon of cinnamon. I'm not going to use cinnamon though. I'm going to try it with this. It's an allspice for pies. And then um, we're going to mix that together. So let's do that and then we'll move on to the next step. All right, so I've got that all whisked together. Now in a separate bowl, so I'm just gonna put this one aside. In a separate bowl, we're going to add in the um, melted coconut oil, sugar, a whole egg, egg yolk, vanilla, and we're gonna whisk it vigorously. So we're gonna need here half a cup of coconut oil or unsalted butter melted. I've got the coconut oil. And then you're also going to need the three quarters cup of packed brown sugar, one large egg, one large egg yolk, two teaspoons of vanilla, and then we're going to put it all in this bowl and whisk it up. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so there you can see we have the dry ingredient bowl, the wet ingredient bowl, and now what we're going to do is we're gonna add the wet ingredient into the dry ingredient, and then we're going to add in our oats and raisins. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so that is it now that it is mixed together. It's like a thick, sauce kind of like a creamy paste and now what we're going to do is we're going to add one and a half cups of rolled oats and then we're going to add three quarter cups of raisins so let's go ahead and add that in all right so it was perfect with my raisins so now what we're going to do is we're going to mix it in and then they will be ready to bake Okay, so now you're going to preheat your oven and put this in the fridge for about 15 minutes, 20 minutes, however long for your oven takes, however long it takes for your oven to preheat. And then once you take it out, you're going to divide the dough up into about 20 tablespoon sized balls, this says, and put them on a cookie sheet. So let's put it in the fridge, let it firm up a bit, and then we will get cooking. Okay, so the oven is preheated. I have my two cookie sheets with parchment paper and now I'm just going to take literally a tablespoon. I've never done this, but I thought how easy. And I'm just going to scoop like this, level it kind of against the bowl. Whoop. And there's one cookie. Plop it on the sheet. So I'm going to do that and then we will put it in the oven and start baking. There we go. So I did them a little bit bigger than suggested, I think, because I obviously didn't get enough. I'm missing a couple, but they are ready to go. I'm going to put them in the oven and they bake on 350 for 10 to 11 minutes and then we will pull them out. Oh, <laughs> show you. Throw them in. and I will set the timer for 10 minutes and then we'll give them a look. Okay, so they took about nine minutes, just nine minutes, and see the bottom started to turn a little bit brown. So I just took them out and now I'm gonna transfer them onto my cooling rack and we will see what they look like.
All right, so there you have it. Those were really simple to make. They look really, really good. They set up really nice. The bottoms didn't burn. And I'd say when it says 10 to 11 minutes, with my oven at least, it took about nine. Um, if they went 10 to 11 minutes, they probably would have not been as chewy, I think. Uh, but they look really good. They smell really good. And uh, overall, it was a really easy, simple, quick recipe. So give them a try for yourself and let me know in the comments below what you think of them. Also, pass this video along to somebody who you think may enjoy this recipe. Like it and then always subscribe, ring that bell so you never miss a video if you came across this channel and love it. Um, and once again, I appreciate you from the bottom of my heart from, for always following along and watching along and just seeing what I'm up to in my kitchen. So have the most amazing day and uh, talk to you soon. See you guys.